Today's book is called Animal Cafe, Story and Pictures by John Stadler. Maxwell owned a food shop. Sometimes business was good, and sometimes it was bad. But good or bad, it was all the same to Maxwell, for one morning each week he found that the foods on his shelves had vanished overnight, and that his cash register was stuffed full of money. Must be magic, he said. As Maxwell closed the shop one Friday evening, he said to his cat and dog, You, Casey, you're such a lazy cat, you couldn't catch a mouse if it were sitting on top of your nose. And you, Sedgwick, some watchdog you are, a burglar with bells on his feet wouldn't keep you from snoring. Sleep, 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 all you do is sleep. Hi, dear. Sweet dreams, Maxwell whispered as he left the shop. In a flash, Cedric and Casey were up and about. All clear, Cedric called from the doorway. Yeah. <laughs> My turn. Casey was already in the kitchen, slicing, dicing, and spicing. What are you cooking tonight, Cedric asked. I'm writing out the menus. It's an old family recipe, a tasty dish of chipped beef with a touch of cheddar cheese and some chipped le liver and lima beans with some spinach, garlic, and prune juice tossed in for good measure. Fine, we'd better call it Casey's Combustible Casserole, Cedric said. And Cedric ran from place to place, decorating the shop. From outside, Casey and Cedric heard the sound of approaching footsteps and chattering voices. Someone pushed and pounded on the door. Just in time, Casey cheered. Welcome back, friend, Cedric said as he opened the door to the first guests. Delighted, I'm sure, answered Miss O'Hare. Wouldn't miss it for the world, added her husband. Uh-oh, Casey whispered. Here comes Cutlet. Last time he ate us out of house and home. And then he complained about the meal being pork and beans. Just be nice, Cedric said through a stiff smile. Well, hello, Cutlet. We were just talking about you. Welcome. Welcome, Schmalcom, Cutlet snorted. Where's the food? Soon, many more guests arrived. Professor Toscanini of Huxley College was there, as well as Dr. Quack. Lady Dumont was not far behind, accompanied by Colonel Kangaroo, retired. All the guests mingled happily, discussing this and that. This, said one, that, said another. Sedgwick saw that it was growing late and hurried the guests to their table. What do you think of it? Sedgwick asked after he served Casey's combustible casserole. It's, uh, well, I would say, uh, undoubtedly it's, uh, replied Miss Goose. The guests ate lightly, except for Cutlet, who constantly cried out for more. After dinner, Sedgwick and Casey started the entertainment. First, Casey juggled, and then he sang and danced. Then Cedric told jokes, as Casey performed daredevil stunts. Finally, they sang some old favorites together. Bravo! roared Hubert the bear. Moi cried Alicia la alligator as she got up to dance. Suddenly, Casey looked at the clock. Yikes, he out. It's almost dawn. Maxwell will be back soon. The guests lined up to pay their bills. Wonderful, wonderful, Lawrence Elk sang out. Oh no, Casey shrieked. The last of the guests filed out. Look! Cutlet was lying on the floor, groaning. He's eaten too much again, Cedric complained. We'll have to roll him out. It was an enormous struggle. Then, Cedric and Casey rushed about to clean up. Hurry, they yelled at each other, running in all directions Shut. at once. Max will be here in any minute. I am pooped, Casey whined as he scrubbed the dishes. Cedric swept past him, moaning. Keep at it, he's coming, in a flash. They finished the kitchen, washed up the shop, turned down the lights, and locked all the money in the cash register. Just as Maxwell reached the door, Cedric and Casey dashed back to the shop, falling on top of each other. Maxwell came in and turned on the lights. 
he opened the cash register and saw that it was full once again. And sure enough, his shelves were nearly bare. Must be magic, he said. Then he looked over at Cedric and Casey. Silly animals, he said. All you ever do is sleep. And that they did. The...